This is called Marlboro Man. At high school dances in the 60s, he held me close, left no room for the Holy Ghost, a distance marker of Catholic chaperones. His rugged hands came to rest on my shy girl's shoulders, his varsity lettered chest pressing my pubescent breasts. I'd inhale his canoe cologne, and the ever-clinging seductive smoke reined in by the weave of his herringbone jacket and skinny silk tie. He was spicy hot and oh so cool, and I wanted to ride with this rugged guy. We meet again in our 60s, the Holy Ghost downsized by the church to a Holy Spirit. And we, chaperones of commandments and contracts, still holding close, dance apart, holding on. Yeah. And because of the, uh, the internet uh, and classmates.com, I, I met this Marlboro man again. And I had just finished uh, rereading all of the works of Hemingway, so this poem is called The Agony of Almost. <laughs> we connect on classmates.com. Today's technology rekindles yesterday's chemistry. His first line, a classic Hemingway, we could have had such a damn good time. Midnight chats refresh pages of a diary. We share leftovers of a movable feast, dip words in red wine, picking at the marrow of what could have been. Always craving, never chancing the change of menu. Wow. <clears throat> More social media because of uh, Facebook, I reconnected with another um, past love from the <laughs> 60s. Did you say past? past well, both. <laughs> uh, and uh, <clears throat> this uh, was uh, because I met him again, uh, I was inspired to write this poem called Hearing You. The grass remembers, I hear it whisper, I miss you. Come, lie down between my blades. I whisper, I miss you too, let me be rain, trickling down your spine, filled with dandelion wine, forgotten time. The grass is full, I hear it whisper, don't leave me. <laughs> <laughs>